if you have goals and a plan, this drop in the market here in 2022 shouldn't matter. Let me explain why. That's your Taylor ProPath Financial. Welcome back to my classroom. We're gonna talk about two things. One, why asset allocation matters. And when you look long-term, your returns are usually better. And all this short-term volatility that we're seeing this year in 2022, the market being down 50% becomes irrelevant. And then I'm gonna show you why getting out of the market and missing the best days is the worst thing for your portfolio. Trying to time the market, find the bottoms, and sell the peaks is almost rendered useless if you just hang on with a good portfolio. So let's go over those two things. Okay, first, let's talk about goals. If you work with me or you've heard me talk, you see anything on social media that I put out, it's always goals first, the plan second, and the way the invest we invest or the assets that we have are purely to support the plan. And the plan is to achieve the goals. Everybody's different. Your experiences, where you have been, where you're going are going to be different. And where you're at right now is all going to be different. So we got to understand goals first, planning second, assets third. This first chart shows the differentiation in how we invest and how we utilize those assets to support the plan. So let me try to explain this. Just hang on. Don't leave. Bear with me. Let me explain this. So first, we're going to talk about rolling year period. You can see right here, one year, five year, 10 year, and 20 year rolling periods. Basically, every single year on January 1st, that starts a new rolling period. So let's just use January 1st, 2020. Not 2022. January 1st, 2020. That started a rolling period for one year, a rolling period for five years out, a rolling period for 10 years out, and a rolling period for 20 years out. Go to January 1st, 2021, that started a whole new segment of a one-year rolling, a five-year, a 10-year, and a 20-year rolling. So every new year starts an outlook of one, five, 10, or 20 years, and it just rolls in every single year. That's a rolling period. If you look back at every single year, for the one year, let's zoom in on this first. In any given year since 1950, let's zoom in on this real quick. In any given year, the most you've made in an all equity portfolio, which an equity in this particular case means the S&P 500 composite, 47% is the high in any given year and 39% is the low up to this point since 1950 through 2021, obviously. For bonds is in the gray, high 43, down 8%. That's the low in any given year. 33% for a 50-50 portfolio. So 50% stock, 50% bond, 33% is the high, 15% is the low. In any given year, cash is 14% on the high. You don't lose anything in any given year for cash. So we move out these rolling year periods, you can see a couple. Let's just fast forward to 20 years. Let's try to keep this video short. In a 20 year rolling period, if you held an investment for 20 years, the high is 17%. That's the most over a 20 year period since 1950. The low is still positive 6%. So essentially what that means since 1950, every single year of you to start a rolling 20 year period, you never lost money in any one of these scenarios, whether you held all stocks, all bonds, a 50, 50 or all cash there in between there, are some similar returns, but some of these are equities down 3% to five year, down 1% to 10 year. Let's remember this five year period. So essentially you need to take from this. When you're building goals, a medium term goal, the five year that I just mentioned, five to 10 years, you have in a five year rolling period, a chance of making 28% on average and the low of losing 3%. So you need to equate that in how you build your goals and prepare for retirement. We good with that so far? So now let's discuss the impact of being out of the market. Since we just looked at those rolling year periods and basically if you stay in the market over long periods of time, the likelihood of you making money is very high. 
But what happens is people have a tendency to want to time the market and be scared of times like this and there's volatility and the price is dropped and everyone's freaking out. So you want to get out of the market and you want to preserve what you have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take a quick break. One thing you need to know is you need to stay in the market for the biggest days. And the biggest days in the market usually come after the worst days. So what happens is people get out of the market when it become, becomes volatile. But missing those great days are what destroys portfolios. And this is what this chart is showing. So this is the S&P 500 again, the 500 largest publicly traded companies or 500 of the largest publicly traded companies. The performance of a $10,000 investment. Now this could be a $10,000 investment, a $100,000 investment, or a million dollar investment, or a $10 million investment, whatever. But the performance of a $10,000 investment between January 2002 and December 31st, 2021. Why that? Because it's a 20 year period. If you just stayed invested, 2002, so that's the bottom of the market or pretty close to, we weathered the storm in 2008 and 2009. You just stayed in the market. You didn't sell at all. You just hung on. You made 9.52% on average every single year. If you missed the 10 best days, which the 10 best days usually happen after the worst days, you almost cut your return in half by 5.5%. If you missed 20 days, 2.63%. If you missed 30 of the best days, that's 0.43%. Here's what this is telling us. That when you invest, you need to invest for goals in time over long periods of time and you need to ignore market volatility. You should not be actively buying and selling in and out of the market based on volatility or difficult times like right now in 2022. Stick to the plan, stick to your goals. Don't overthink this. Build good portfolios and let it ride and attach time to when you're gonna need that money. If you need help doing this, that's what I do. These aren't sales videos. But if you have questions, reach out to me. Information's in the link below. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.